Closed captioning for the Let's Dine Out show provided by Holiday Cafe, your neighborhood diner with two locations in Ontario and Mr. D's Diner in Laverne. Ready to satisfy your hunger and budget? Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, providing installation, maintenance, and repair of heating and air conditioning systems for home and businesses throughout the Inland Empire. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, five-star comfort for four generations. Sanbornsac.com. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Hi, I'm food critic Alan Borgen. And I'm Trisha Jansen. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out Show. We're going to show you some of our favorite and best restaurants in the IE and in Southern California. Trisha. Yes. <laughs> For about the I last rate when he says my name. <laughs> okay. About the last year, you've been not nagging, not being pushy, wow, but you wow, want, wow. you like traveling. So I do. I am the giver, and I decided we're going to travel. So guess what? We're going to do some traveling today. The kind of pack your bag traveling or Alan Borgen's Well, traveling? I've seen your bag and your, your little big bag that you carry and stuff, but <laughs> yes. we're going to Loma Linda. Whee! to the hospital? <laughs> no, not the hospital. We're doing oh, okay. three restaurants in Loma Linda. Wow, three. Three really neat restaurants. There's so many in this area that people just don't know about. Yeah. So rather than do one or two, let's do three. Okay, well, good thing I have my bag because I have my stretchy pants in the bag <laughs> for the three restaurant, for the trio. So, Trisha, Trisha. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. What's on tonight's menu? Okay, let's open them. <laughs> I feel like I need a drum roll. On tonight's show, our first stop is Chapter 2, California Kitchen for some unique Thai fusion creations. Then we travel to Angelo's for some delicious pasta and deli sandwiches. Our last stop is at Ada Ethiopian Restaurant for some one-of-a-kind traditional Ethiopian eats. Get your foodie passport ready, let's go eat. Okay, Trisha, this is a very interesting restaurant. Yeah. Um, it used to be a Mexican restaurant and uh, it's been changed and the owner here, I've known for about 29 years, it's amazing, one of the first restaurants I ever did was his other restaurant in Redlands. Right. And uh, it's an interesting concept, it's kind of a fusion, that seems to be the, a very popular yeah. element in the Inland Empire, there's not too many restaurants like this. Yeah, it's very unique, I love the idea and it, this really truly is fusion and you'll see as we go and explore the dishes here that they are, you're, you taste a bite and you're like, it's maybe it's one way and then you're like, no, it's another, you know, it's very interesting. But what's nice too is it's not as dramatic as some of them where everything's got an egg in it, this one is a little <laughs> different. But it's true, I mean, the Mexican, you know, Korean fusion with there's always an egg in it, this one doesn't. <laughs> This has some really interesting twists. Okay, I'll have to look for twists the and turns. No <laughs> eggs in this one. Okay, so. I like eggs. Let's start with the first one. The heart attack sandwich, seven dollars. Now, I was really excited. We taste tested this obviously first, and we loved this sandwich. It's fabulous. This is a grilled garlic roll. They put Alfredo sauce. Then they add shredded three cheese blend. So it's just cheese. Then they do a panko crusted, about a six ounce, really juicy Thick and breast. Juicy. Oh. They panko crust it, they deep fry it. Now it's a marinated, they, the chef told me they marinate it for like a day or two beforehand. So it's not only is it panko crusted and fried, but it's marinated, delicious. Then they add more Alfredo sauce. Then these beautiful caramelized onions that just sing to me when I <laughs> open up the sandwich. Eat me, eat, eat me. me, they're singing. Then there's more cheese and more Alfredo. <laughs> Okay, then it comes with fries and of course a lovely garnish and it's sitting right here in front of me and I'm smelling the aromas. You know, when you first bite into the sandwich, 
It's so crispy, which you wouldn't expect when there's so much Alfredo on it. You know, you get that panko crust, that crunch, even from the garlic toast, it's very crunchy. And then you get that creamy, ooey, gooey, just cheese love. And I have to say the caramelized onions play a big role in the sandwich. They add such a level of flavor. I love this sandwich. Come alone for the sandwich. Next, we had some puffs. We had a curry <laughs> puff and a taco puff, $5. You got one of each or you can get two of each one. We got one of each. First, it was a taco puff. It was a veggie soy blend of beef and chicken, black beans, onions, celery, cheese, enchilada sauce. It was put in a beautiful puff pastry and deep fried. Absolutely delicious. Very good. And it's served with sour cream and pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. Now, the curry puff was even better. Yeah. This was uh, soy chicken with onion, potato, celery, cilantro, garlic, and curry sauce. Again, in the puff pastry, deep fried. Delicious. I like that one the best. I, I really like I like curry. This one just blended itself. The other one's more like Southwestern. It was good. Yeah. But I love the curry puff. I agree. I love these. I love the crispy, flaky outer puff, and I love the innards. And even though it's vegetarian, I, nothing against vegetarians. No, no, no. I like veggies. Oh, wait. And you wouldn't know, honestly, that they're vegetarian if you were to eat them. Be nice. This is Loma Linda. I, I know. But honestly, all three restaurants are going to the yeah. wonderful vegetarian They dishes. do, and I have no issue with that. But I really love the flavor of the curry one. I thought it yeah. just, it had a really beautiful flavor. A little flavor. better than the one, so. Yeah, for sure. Then we had the Three Musketeers, $9. This is, a, in a wok, it was a shrimp, beef, chicken, garlic. Then they added carrots, chilies. They sauteed it, walked it really good. They added a really delicious, a tangy, sweet tamarind sauce. Then they added cashews, cornstarch to thicken it, and green onions. And then on the plate, they served it with garnish, and I really enjoyed this. What was nice about this is I didn't expect the sauce I've never had a, I don't think I've ever had a tamarind sauce. I've had tamarind drinks and stuff, okay. but it was tangy and a little sweet. Well, and I, it was really, really good. Yeah, tamarind is a very sweet, it has a very fruity uh, flavor profile. And so for me, I actually didn't love this dish. I thought, I liked the, I thought it could go to a better degree if they would have added some heat to it. It was just, it's so, the tamarind is so sweet that I felt like it needed like chili oil or something just to kind of bring a, a subtle heat to it. It was just almost too sweet. It was like sweet and sour. But I gotta be honest, that's why they had the condiments. And right, and you can on add there. them on, that's true. And that's but, what that's what's so good about the yeah. Thai food, especially the sweet and sour. Yeah, just add, maybe ask for a little chili oil to, to well, put on it or yeah. whatever. Cause it just, the tamarind is so sweet and tangy has a very fruity profile, so I felt like it needed something to balance it. And their it. chili sauce, they make, they kind they of do. doctor it up. They buy it from a can or right. a bottle, but they add stuff they to it. They tweak it. Yeah, they tweak it really yeah, good. Yeah, I'm all about so. that. So. Speaking of tweak, the next one. Oh. Pineapple fried rice, seven dollars. You know, we've had this at several restaurants that we've been to, and this is just sort of always a favorite. You know, they start with egg, and they have chicken. They do cashews, um, onions, peas, and carrots. It's got some raisins in it, and of course the pineapple garlic it's got your special sauces that they use it's garnished at the end with cilantro tomato and green onion and you know i always love this dish and i think there's so many things going on it's first of all it's very cohesive i think that's what i like about it you've got so many different flavors going on fried rice is fried rice is fried rice in my opinion mm. um there are, I need something that makes it exciting. And I think the pineapple and the cashews just add such a well, nice different twist well, to it. the curry. You know, and it, the curry, too. A lot I of agree. people don't like curry. And it can, curry can be overpowering. It can be. This isn't. This, this has is very just balanced. a very slight, mild kick to it. It does. But the sweetness and the tanginess and the sweetness of even the cashews. I agree. Lot. Like I said, it's probably the most cohesive, flavor-wise, mm -hmm. dish that they have here. Well, this is excellent. So. Yeah, very good. You know, it's really hard to pick our favorites. <laughs> but if you had to pick one, or let's say two out of all these, what would it be? Well, for sure the heart attack get the paddles out cocoon yeah i mean it's cheese i, I love that i mean the just the it was unexpected i mean i've right. never had a sandwich quite like that usually when you have sauce it's so gooey and and soggy i hate that yeah. and then i'm gonna say the fried rice just the pineapple fried rice i just the pretty much agreed you know this kind of proves a point that i always tell people try stop at restaurants try sure. to try new things and this is a restaurant that people drive by it's a lot of traffic back and forth over and over a million times, but they won't stop. That's for sure. And again, I really highly recommend that people try different restaurants. It's gonna really help your life. And if you're a foodie, you almost have to do it. Absolutely, and you know, the thing about uh, something like this type of restaurant where it's fusion, there's so many different profiles going on that you're bound to like something here, you know? Try it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special kind of restaurant. Plus, they're the type of people that if, if you want something a little special, they'll make it oh, for, for you. Oh, for sure. If they can do it, they will. Absolutely. So that's cool. We had a good one. A good one. So now we're off to restaurant number two here at Loma Linda, <laughs> Angelo's, for some great sandwiches and surprisingly, 
pasta. Well, here we are, restaurant number two. Now, this is a restaurant we both are very familiar with. Now, yeah. you, your husband used to come here, uh, we took you on a date here, I think? Or? He did, yeah, he used to come here all the time and before we met, and then after we met, he wanted to introduce me to one of his favorites, so we used to come here, and this is one of his favorites, so yeah, and a little I'm, history here. And I've been coming here for about 15, 20 years almost, so yeah. uh, it's, uh, and this is my, when I want a good sandwich, this is where I go to Absolutely. in this area. So, Absolutely. Uh, you want to dive into it? Let's dive in. Okay. Let's start with the first item, spaghetti with meat sauce. This is one of my favorites, $9.77. I love spaghetti. You know, I, this is a very basic spaghetti, but it's a very rich sauce. It's a meat sauce. And I love that it has a little sweet side to it. So it has that kind of salty sweet thing going on. It's thick and hearty, and I always ask for a side of the mazithra cheese to go with this one. This is how I like it. So what did you think? Oh, I thought it was very good. I liked the sauce. It was very... Um I have bold and assertive. It's, it's very, very rich. Yeah. It really is. And it comes with the rolls, which you go nuts over. I do. The little buttery love rolls. And I know they're not made with butter, but they have they use a lot of really good quality cheese here. Next, we had spaghetti combo, $9.77. Basically, this is where you can get half and half. So this one is half mazithra cheese and half marinara. Now, mazithra cheese is a cheese that's not very, it's not found very often in, a, in an Italian restaurant. Um, again, it's it's just a very simple dish. This has the uh, the marinara, I like to mix it together. Personally for me, I like the meat and the mazithra combo. That's that's the Trisha combo. Well, I got this before a reason, because this is this is vegetarian threshold here. <laughs> okay. you know, Loma Linda obviously right. has a lot of vegetarians here, and yeah. you know, it's, it's very important. Now this restaurant really caters to the vegetarian they menu, do. but also to the meat eaters too. And, Again, they have. If you want to order the pasta with the meatballs, they have regular meatballs. They make everything fresh here, or they have vegetarian meatballs, which I think <laughs> for well, I'm, I compare apples to apples. Yes. For vegetarian meatballs, these were great. Yeah. I mean, if you compare this to you know, homemade grandma's homemade meatballs, no, you're probably not going to like them. But if you can't eat meat or don't sure. want to eat meat, this is a great alternative. It's made with just soy. soy. It's made with eggs and breadcrumbs and garlic and onions, but it's delicious, to me, delicious. I really, really liked it. Yeah, and I like so. their regular meatballs. I think they're great. Again, mm -hmm. very simple, but they're good. Right. I mean, I get, give me a little meat sauce, a little meatball, a little mazithra cheese, I'm happy. Now, this restaurant, again, has been around for 35 years, and what's interesting is it's family recipes. It's by the same, you know, brothers have owned it. Right. And they stick to the same basic, it's kind of like the KISS theory. If you heard of the KISS theory, keep it simple, simple stupid. stupid. That's what this is, because everything is, it's like a factory. It's all done by the same, everything has margarine, mayo, provolone, but you can also get American cheese, lettuce, and that's about it. There's a little creamy garlic. So that's kind of the theme of all the sandwiches, but the quality of the meats is oh. what really makes this restaurant very, very Great good. Great bread. And of course, they have the veggie bar, where you can add your extras, your pickle and your onion and all the things Carrots, you like. Carrots, kosher yeah. pickles, uh, uh, what do you call beets, cucumbers. I mean, Absolutely. I love it. So, okay, sandwiches, let's get right into it. Roast beef sandwich, eight seventy nine. Now we had this on sourdough bread. You get your choice, but I liked it on sourdough. This is a, they they make their own roast beef in their oven. It's about four to five hours. They roast it perfectly seasoned. Again, they put margarine mayo on it. Then they put provolone cheese. This is on one side of the bread. Provolone cheese, shredded lettuce, creamy Italian. They put on it, and then they put roast beef. Now the roast beef, a lot of roast beef. It's tender. It's juicy. I love this sandwich, and I'm used to going to a Jewish deli where it's a little bit different. It's not, you know, I've never heard of mayo and margarine, and when you think about it, you're like, ugh, but it really works well. It, it, it does. It kind of plays with each other. I and guess. Everything just kind of melts, in the, it just kind of helps to um, create the dish. I mean, yeah. it's really, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's a good sandwich. No, it makes sense. This was my, my least favorite of the sandwiches. I just felt like it was a little dry, um, but yeah. I, their sandwiches here are fabulous. I love the egg salad, I love their tuna. I mean, we came one day and we had, I think about six different sandwiches and they were all Always. like so good. Then pastrami, oh, 8.79. This is on a huge roll. It's about a 10 inch roll, French roll. Again, margarine and mayo, mm -hmm. provolone cheese, pastrami, big, nice, big, it's Cruz Pastrami, which is the name of the, of the company. Very, very nice. Great Peppery, flavor. Mm -hmm. The smoky, shredded lettuce, and the creamy Italian dressing. Now, again, growing up in L.A., you know, Kaplan's and, 
and uh, all the other arts, deli and everything. Yeah. It's not the Jewish rye bread with, you know, usually with mustard and rye right. bread. Or most other restaurants put pickles and mustard on sure, it. Sure, but you no, can. No pickles, no mustard. But guess what? It really, really worked. Next, we had turkey and avocado, $8.79. Now, this we got on squaw bread. I love squaw bread. Little, it's my little sweet, little honey in there. Okay, same procedure with the butter and the mayo and the provolone cheese and the shredded lettuce. Then they add a little creamy Italian and then they add, I mean, at least an avocado, avocado's <laughs> worth of avocado on there, fresh and turkey. And you know what he told me? They said that you can add avocado to any sandwich and they don't charge you extra. I was like, are you kidding amazing. me? Amazing. Also, uh, we'll be remiss if we didn't say it comes with one side salad, the yeah. macaroni salad, and they use onions and celery. It's, re it's real it's really fine, good. so it's not overpowering, mm -hmm. but it's a nice, nice portion of and it. And they it's make really it here. Good. And they make it here. Yep. It's all fresh. So, Alan, what were some of your favorites? Oh, easy. I love the roast beef. Tender, juicy, homemade, can't get any better than that. Okay. And the pastrami. It was smoky, it was peppery, not much fat on it, and just a great, great sandwich. Yeah, I agree. I love that. It was really good. Well, I'm going to say the spaghetti and meatballs for sure. And the turkey and avocado sandwich on squaw bread. That, that was, was just, good. oh, the amount of avocado and just the, the bread is so good. It just, everything about it was delicious. I definitely agree. Uh. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is a great food here. And, uh, but we have one more restaurant to go to. And guess what? This is where the traveling comes in. Okay. We're going to Ethiopia now. Next to Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> Ada's Ethiopian. <laughs> Questions or suggestions for the Let's Dine Out Show? Contact Alan or Trisha or visit letsdineoutshow.com. Okay, our final <laughs> restaurant of the night, and uh, it's been a fun oh. experience, but I think we're saving the best for the last. For this sure. is something that is so unusual. This is the only Ethiopian restaurant in the Inland Empire. Yeah. And unless you go to Fairfax and in LA, you're not going to find Ethiopian restaurants all around. So it's not like Mexican restaurants in every corner. <laughs> and what's nice about this is the different influences. You've got Portugal, uh, it was a big influence with the chilies. You've got India with the cumin and all the cardamom. And you've got North African. So you've got the different influences. And again, eating it, it no forks and knives, it's all optional. Know. You grab it with your hand and mm -hmm. with your right hand, not your left, your right hand. What if you're a lefty? That's for, it's dirty there. Discrimination. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's with your right hand, grab a piece <laughs> off and eat it. Now, what we have in front of us is called injera. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like a rubbery crepe. We'll let you look what it's like. This is just part of it. I love the way it feels. <laughs> I could play with this it's all rubbery. day. It smells like sourdough it does. crepe. And it has a great flavor. If you like sourdough bread, you will be in love with this. And I love how porous it is. This, you know, these, the way it's so porous that it actually helps you to sop up the juices. Sop up the juices. So it's, right. it's ingenious, actually. Good stuff. Now, it's made with fermented teff, which is a grain. Mm -hmm. It takes about three days to, from the beginning of it to the end of it. And it's hard to make, so uh, they don't make it here. Yeah. They try, but it just takes too long. Right. But, uh, okay, with that said, let's dive into this. So, so what you do, you, yep. you grab a piece, you just kind of like this, small piece. And let's get into, uh, let's say, the, it's called the miso wat, which is a lentil stew. So you just kind of grab it, small amount. And I just don't. make love with it. Just eat it. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Mm. Let me see here. Now this has some heat to it. This is you know, tomatoes, garlic, mm -hmm. onions, lots of spices. I'm getting a, a, a paprika, paprika flavor in there. You know, roasted pepper. Well, it's, it's got some heat. Well, it's got a lot of heat. Whew. What they have is their main seasoning <laughs> is called the burbari. Mm -hmm. And it's chilies, cumin, garlic, yeah. cardamom, cloves, nutmeg. It's almost like the Indian masala. Every home has their own rendition. Mm -hmm. Some use you know, more than others. This one is hot. Now, not all Ethiopian food's hot. This dish is probably one of the hotter ones. Yeah, that's spicy. So let's grab water. the next one. Yeah. Mm. Next, let's do some collard greens there. So you kind of grab it. Again, you can see how much, just a small amount. You don't need a whole bunch. And just eat it. I'm gonna make mine like a taco. Mm. That's delicious. I like that it's cut up smaller. It's it's more manageable. You know, it's, color, like chopped. it's chopped exactly. It's got a lot of onions and garlic mm -hmm. and very very simple, but just delicious. I'm getting a very and garlicky it's, flavor. And it's one thing about the food here. It's very very simple. Mm -hmm. But 
all the stews that we're having, it takes many hours. It's very labor intensive. It is. So it's, it's a lot not of just, love on it's this not dish. just made fresh every you know right. quickly. Right. So what's the next one I want to try? Let's do curry cabbage. Sure. Right here. All right. Potatoes, carrots, I cabbage. Want to a, make sure I get a potato. Mine. Mm. I love curry. Mm. That's delicious. Turmeric. That's, that's mm -hmm. the major ingredient. The thing about this thing too, a lot of times when you come here. You, you don't think you're going to be full, but trust me, you'll fill you up. Oh, yeah. Now, while we're eating here, it's about $33 worth. But to, for two people, it's mm -hmm. great. But you can pick and choose from, like, what is it, $9.99? Yep. So you can pick and choose what you want. So you, they have lots and lots of vegetarian dishes. They only have three uh, meat dishes. They have two, uh, two beef dishes. One is mild, which we have. Mm -hmm. One is really hot. Uh, beef, and then they have a chicken, which we have. Yeah. But so it's a lot of veg you know, vegetables here. And yeah. So if you're vegetarian, it's perfect. If you like meat, it's perfect. I'm going to try some salad. I want to try. I know it's a Pizza? side dish. Yeah. Let's just try a little salad. It's kind of a palate cleanser. I'm still kind of burning from the first one. <laughs> it's nice. It's a little oil in it, I think. Mm hmm A little vinegar. Simple. I want some meat. Enough veggies. All right. Let's try marinated beef. Now, this is called Tibbs. Now this is just chunks of meat, I believe with bell peppers. Mm. Tender steak. Mm, that was a great flavor. It's marinated first. Mm -hmm. mm. Garlic, onion, rosemary. It's got the barberry seasoning. Delicious. Mm. Next we have the chicken dish. This is called Dora Wat. And it's chicken <laughs> leg. With hard boiled egg, believe it or not. Which now, came first, the chicken or the <laughs> egg? egg. <laughs> now this has a uh, it's garlic and butter, very, very uh, rich it's sauce. Rich. Very, mm -hmm. So let's grab a piece of it, okay. some of the chicken. This is a little harder. <laughs> sauce. Mm. I love the chicken. So good, the flavor, but it's very intense. Yeah, very good. And the last item we have here, it's called the uh, Atir Kik Alicha. We just split peas, yellow split peas. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got here. I feel like I can't keep up with you. And again, you grab small pieces. You don't need some real big ones. Mm. Mm. If you like split pea soup, yeah. the flavor of it, that's what this is. It's just really nice. They're whole, they're kind of mushed up, but there's also big pieces mm -hmm. of it. Good texture. So it's that flavor that's... It's very... Um, Earthy, it tastes good. So again, you're eating healthy, mm -hmm. and you gotta appreciate the time and the love that is put into this dish. Well, and the experience. I mean, if you love food like we do, like I know you do, this is a this is a dining experience. You know, this is something that you have to come and experience. Where else can you go somewhere and eat with this fun bread that you want to play with all day? Exactly. I want to like <laughs> play with it. And a funny story: we had a grub club here. We did. We had 25 people. It's a very small restaurant. It gets about 25 people. Mm -hmm. And almost every one of them were like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, you got to eat with your hand. Everybody who came loved it. They did. And it blew everybody away. So that's what's nice about food, especially yeah. something like this. We're not talking funky food. This is just delicious. basic grub, <laughs> yeah. but so delicious. Well, and I believe that they, the reason they don't use utensils is they, it, they believe in the feeding each other and the love that goes into serving one another by feeding each okay. other. So. So you want to feed each other? No. I'm <laughs> I'll eat your hand up. No. Time. So, looks nice again. You get different combinations. You can go from one to another. Have some cabbage. Have some. There's no rules to eat. No, and you know, for me personally, I love to have a little of the meat with the salad. I like to add some of the split pea. You know, you just kind of keep going in and tasting the different pieces, and they're all so good. Like, you you think you like that one best, and then you try that, and you're like, no, I like that. You just keep going and going and going. It's mm -hmm. delicious. Now, another important element of Ethiopian food that's very customary is coffee. They're very known. Ethiopian coffee is one of the world's best. Now, what's neat, they have a ceremony where they grind, they roast their own green um, coffee beans, coffee beans mm -hmm. and it's just an elaborate thing. And I'm not sure when they do it, but they do do it here, and it's pretty interesting to see. It so. is. We watched it during our grub club. It's very ceremonial, and it's just something to see. So, yeah, come for that for sure. Oh, what food. Beautiful. What are your favorites? You know, it's so hard to say, but I'm going to say the Dora Wat, the chicken with the egg. I think there's just so much going on in that dish that if you were only to get that dish, you'd be excited. And I love the split pea. 
For me, the um, Atli Wat, the curry cabbage, mm -hmm. I love that. I do too. I really like the beef. I'm a beef eater and I love it. It's tender and mm -hmm. very intense flavors. Good flavors. Good. And again, the chicken and, and buttery sauce was excellent. Delicious. So. Well, folks, there it is. Three restaurants in Loma Linda. So uh, it's not just the hospital. They have more than yes. just the hospital here. Great, great community, great food. The owners of all the restaurants have been very nice to us. And you don't need a passport. Yeah, you don't need a passport to go to Ethiopia. <laughs> so until next week, food to California. And I'm Trisha Jansen. Happy eating, everybody. Let's dine out. Restaurant number two here in Loma Linda, <laughs> Angelo's, for some great sandwiches and surprisingly, pasta. I'm excited, and their buttery rolls. <laughs> no, they have the best their, buttery garlic they, rolls ever. And their kosher ever. pickles. Oh, their, oh their, I haven't had them. veggie bar. Oh, my. I steal a whole bunch of them when I take it out. Ooh, I even see that, did you? Well, here you are, restaurant number two in Redlands. Redlands. Go, Melinda. Mm. Oh, you want a piece of <laughs> I want to play with it. We could do like an outtake where I can throw it at you. <laughs> Closed captioning for the Let's Dine Out show provided by Holiday Cafe. Your neighborhood diner with two locations in Ontario and Mr. D's Diner in Laverne. Ready to satisfy your hunger and budget? Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, providing installation, maintenance, and repair of heating and air conditioning systems for home and businesses throughout the Inland Empire. Sanborn's Air Conditioning and Heating, five-star comfort for four generations. Sanbornsac.com. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.